but I think it has certainly come to a head this week. I'm glad we have a chance to discuss it. So, starting the back row, if any of you, Will or Kelly, you guys have anything you want to share with the subcommittee? Okay. Don't feel compelled to. Don't feel compelled to. Daryl, since you stayed up late. Yeah. Uh, and, and, you know, I'll give you, you have a copy. Testimony, well, I'll, I'll, I'll give you a file. copy of this okay. uh, if you want to place it in file. Yeah. Uh, as most of you know, you know, this past Monday, Edimo was found guilty of three felonies of uh, wiretapping because okay. he reported. Daryl, do you introduce yourself for the oh, committee? Yes, uh, Daryl Perry. And where uh, do you live? From Keene. Okay, thank you. Uh, was found guilty of three felonies for recording telephone conversations with public officials, uh, and you know he did not have their consent. And yes, he did violate the New Hampshire statute, but the New Hampshire statute violates federal court precedent. Uh, last year, the First Circuit Court out of, I believe it's Boston, issued the Glick decision, which uh, the judges ruled that filming public officials while on duty is, quote, a basic and well-established liberty safeguarded by the First Amendment. The First Circuit Court ruling was cited by a judge in Illinois as a pervasive authority for ruling on similar cases, specifically the case of Michael Allison, who had been convicted of five counts of felony eavesdropping and sentenced to 75 years in prison. The Illinois law, similar to the New Hampshire law, makes it a felony to record a conversation without consent of all parties, regardless of circumstances. Uh, Mr. Allison's troubles began when he recorded his encounters with police who seized his car from his front yard. He then recorded a uh, court appearance without the judge's consent. In all, he was you know, convicted five times of felonies. Uh, another judge in the Allison case dismissed the charges, stating a statute intended to prevent Unwarranted intrusion into a citizen's privacy cannot be used as a shield for public officials who cannot assert a comparable right to privacy in their public duties. Such action impedes the free flow of information concerning public officials and violates the First Amendment right to gather information. The ACLU has even stepped in in Illinois and is challenging the Illinois law in the Seventh Circuit Court of Appeals. Uh, Illinois, just like New Hampshire, is one of the, or two of the dozen states that require all parties to give consent. This restriction makes it a crime in many circumstances to attempt to hold public officials accountable. This reminds me of a quote from Plato that says, we can easily forgive a child who is afraid of the dark. The real tragedy is when men are afraid of the light. Mm -hmm. I would like to ask the subcommittee to modify RSA 570-A colon 2 so that the term all parties is replaced with at least one party and additionally include the phrase which I take from the Hawaii statute it is neither an invasion of privacy nor wiretapping nor eavesdropping to record a telephone conversation if a party to the conversation at the very least, the committee should bring New Hampshire law in compliance with federal court precedent, which states filming public officials while on duty is a basic and well-established liberty safeguarded by the First Amendment. Uh, bring the law into compliance with federal, uh, compl you know, with uh, federal precedent the easy way through legislation or the hard way through court. I know the state does not want to be sued. But uh, if the legislature does not bring this into compliance, I'm tempted to challenge this in federal court and would wiretap as many legislators as possible to make that happen. <laughs> Thank you. Thanks, and you'll just give me a copy of that for a yes. while? Yes. Okay. Thank you, Doctor. If you guys want to sit down, uh, there's some open seats over here at Alter Cells if you don't want to stand. So we're a bit informal today, Representative. How are you? Yeah. <coughs> I'm not sure. 
Daryl, she said, is it uh, under federal law? That just uh, federal court precedent when involving public officials. Uh, only one time? Yes. Uh, that's regarding okay. public officials while on duty. Uh, I'm not certain what uh, federal law is on other instances, uh -huh. whether it's one or two party, but 38 states, which is well over three fifths, only require one party. We had a couple. Of, hey, Representative, come on here. We um, wow. had a lot of. Why <laughs> attack it? Yeah, no. It's, this is your bill, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's a sponsor. We may let him speak today. Representative, have the Senate seat. 